full of gossip. 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 The Rumor Report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the Rumor Report. The, the Breakfast, Breakfast Club. Club. Well, Chris Brown has revealed that his double album, Heartbreak on a Full Moon, is coming out. And it's going to be uh, the full track list that you can see online right now. So we already know the song Party's doing really well. So if you have a chance to go check it out. A lot of songs on here, by the way. It's 40 songs. Wow. Double album. Do people have the attention span in 2017 for a double album? Nowadays. 40 records? Yes. They want music so bad. No. Yes. 40 songs, Envy, in people, this era. You know, hard, it, you know what? It's really hard to have a... Who had great double albums? Like, let's talk about that, because it's Pop hard Smalls. to have a... It's the hard. Notorious B.I.G., that's where it stops. Everybody else has Did Pop do a double album? Yeah, Pop uh, did a yeah. double album that they loved. Yeah, Everybody cool. loved. Yeah. Wu-Tang did a double album. It was cool, and I love Wu-Tang, but it was okay. Who else? It's hard it's to hard do It's hard to do a double album. That's a lot of songs. 40 songs in this era and this in this here today gone tomorrow era but people go through Come music on, so man. fast they, they'll love that they'll love all that new music you're not making any sense if they go through music so fast why give them 40 nah, songs because it gives all the songs to listen to they get stuff to listen to and listen to and listen to but, I, I mean I listen I like the uh, being ambitious like that doing a double album mm -hmm. shows that you care because you're putting out all this music it could go I'd rather put out four albums with ten songs on it a year if you want to do that <laughs> <laughs> give me a song give me an album every quarter I mean, maybe he feels like he has some great music. Now, let's talk about Quincy Combs. He has finally mended his relationship with his biological father, Al B. Shore. We always see Quincy with Diddy, because obviously Diddy has kids with his, ma his mom, mm -hmm. Kim Porter. But you don't really see Quincy Combs with his dad. So they actually did a night and day 2.0. Check it out. I can tell you how I feel Say that I do care. I can tell you. That's why everywhere I go, I want you there. I can tell you. Oh, yeah. As a lifelong uh, <laughs> Uptown Records fan, <laughs> I have to fart on that right there. That is, that was, no. That was Al B. Shore's no. song originally. This is the 2.0 version. Can you play now, it? if you remember, Quincy did that open letter to Diddy praising him for being uh, there when his father wasn't. I remember why. Yeah, he, remember that? No, no, he talked about it when he was up here, but you weren't here mm -hmm. that day. You were on vacation. Oh. Yeah, he, he talked about him doing the song and him linking up with his dad and how difficult it was when he was here. Can we play the original version, too, or we don't have that? No, I don't think oh, we okay. have that. But, yeah, I leave, mean. Leave some things alone. But I'm not, I'm going to say that's his dad. So it's a nice gesture and a nice makeup. Like, let's do something together. Mm -hmm. that's, oh, that's cool, but that's going to make it a good record. So I can respect it. All right, American Idol. Everybody is trying to get a piece of that. Right now, ABC has made an offer to buy that show since American Idol has gone off the air. They want to reboot the show for a March 2018 premiere. They even asked about Ryan Seacrest being the host, but he's not going to be able to do that because he's doing live with Kelly Ripa. So right. he's not going to have time to be doing American Idol. So uh, not a bad situation, though. American Idol does have a great name, but I feel like the show had declined. It has. A lot over the years. So we'll see where it ends up. Fox and um, NBC and everybody was trying to go and get that show, but it looks like uh, ABC is going to... I think they stopped producing stars. Like, once they stopped producing stars, then the show kind of, like, fell off a little bit. Because at one point, they were producing stars, stars. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you know what I, else I think, too? A lot of other shows came after that. Like, American Idol was the big one, but then The Voice came. Who was the last yeah, big star none of, those, none of those shows produced big stars, though. Yeah, who was the last big star on there, on American Idol? Some country singer. I can't remember her name. Uh. Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood. There you, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, you think that was the go. last one? Yeah, Big star? Was, yeah, the huge star. You got to think Fantasia came from there. Carrie Underwood. Kelly Clarkson. Ruben Stuttered. Ruben Stuttered. Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer, Jennifer Hudson. Hudson. Yeah. Well, she didn't she win. Didn't she didn't win. win. She, she didn't win, win but she mm -hmm. still, you know. She... And, and that's, that was the thing with all those other shows. They didn't produce no stars like American Idol did. Not X Factor. Was it X Factor? Was it X Factor? Yeah, X Factor. Yeah, X Factor and The Voice. They didn't produce no stars like that. La Portia Renee. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Either. She was on season 15. All right. Beyonce is selling a $300 lemonade box set. You might want to get that. It sounds like a good idea to me. Now that lemonade box set is going to have the full colored album, vinyl, and a 600-page coffee table book that has pictures that have never been seen before, a forward from Dr. Michael Eric Dyson, and poetry as well from Morrison Shire. So you can get your pre-orders in now. That's not a bad collector's item, lemonade. It's okay. only three hundred dollars. You get all of those things. I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. The Breakfast Club. <laughs>